Shade fan. Yes, baby. That's the only way to mm. do it, hunty. There's nothing like confusing people on the internet. Why does he try to look so masculine and then doing all that gay fan stuff? <laughs> I'm doing what I want. It's balanced. It <laughs> it is, uh, <laughs> welcome to Look at All, the Hey Queen After Show, where we take our guests and have them look at some of our noted drag celebrities and people that they've worked with of note, and uh, they give us a little tea or a little shade or whatever they want. And today, of course, we have Miss Coco Peru. Yeah! yeah! And Sasha Soprano. Yeah! yeah! Both performing May 23rd at the Drag Queens of Comedy in San Francisco at the Castro Theater. We're very lucky to have them. And if you haven't seen their entire Hey Queen interview, it's a good one. So make sure to click the link. It's somewhere around here. <laughs> so are you ready to play? Yeah. yeah. Look a ha. Yeah. 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 All right. First queen, look a ha. Oh, this one goes to Sasha. Uh -huh. <laughs> As we heard on the main show, Sasha's first producing project was a show at the Castro with N Lonnie Love and uh -huh. Ms. Nene Leakes. Ah, uh -huh. shade. Mm -hmm. Did you want the shade fan? Please. <laughs> yeah. I, it, Lonnie Love, amazing. Nene was, ex her, you know, a lot of them say that they're characters on TV. It was not a character. She, that is her, 100%. Oh, wow. It's, you know, she, I'm not telling her anything. You already know that. <laughs> you know, she knows. It's just, but it was a great learning lesson for me. So, mm. you know, um, next. All right. Uh, ah! and, uh, uh, Lady Red, since you're wearing Nene Housewives Season 2 hair, uh, would you like to respond as Nene Leaks? Go to bed, wig. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at her. <laughs> Oh, I can't oh, see. Oh, this I don't is have my like <laughs> Oh, is that Tori Spelling? Yes, it is. Oh, you know what? She was lovely. Her people were awful. Really? But she was lovely. Yes, she she showed up, wanted to have a great time, loved the gays. She was wonderful. Her people were horrible when they realized that I kind of looked like her in the movie. Right. They excluded me from all the press. Uh, <laughs> I remember walking the red carpet at the Egyptian theater, and they said, a group photo, you know, cast photo, and I went over to take the cast photo, and these people stepped in front of me and went, no, Coco. Oh. No. And I thought, this is a fucking gay movie. Oh I'm yeah. a fucking direct. No. But anyway, it had nothing to do with Tori. It was, it was her people. She was actually a, a, a very nice lady. Uh, in her best role in that movie. Yeah. The best she's ever she done. She was cute. That and Mother May I Sleep With Danger. Look at her. <laughs> ah. Jackie Beat. Jackie Beat. Her bark is worse than her bite. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what about as a producer working with Jackie Beat? Um, you know, um... <laughs> <laughs> I love Jackie. Give her no, a you know, I was a young little kid, um, so, um, but... So she, she gave you a hard no, time. She, yes. But it was good. <laughs> Get rid of yes, kick her ass. She gave you, she kicked your ass. I'll see, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know, um, it was, again, another um, time for me just to learn. But, you know, it was um, a very difficult production the first go. Uh -huh. So That's a lot for someone uh, 25, and the first someone one, any of age to, to wrangle a huge production, let alone someone who's just like, I'm going to write a check and see what happens. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, now I know she'll come to it and she'll be taken back by the actual production value because like she said, the, the Makeup Mirrors, the first one, we were all back in a, uh, you know, a cement room. Oh, right. I remember no, being back know, there that, that year. Right. I was there too. So, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So, you yeah. know... It, Shoving like, well, there's eight of us. Yeah, now. yeah So yeah. it was a little bit of my. Fault. I do remember the backstage chaos yeah. before because we that's came the out show. and then you yeah, guys yeah, were there. I mean, that's yeah. the real Should've show backstage. That. Yes. I mean, last year you sat me next to um, Shangela, who's doing that whole like, 
thing. <laughs> you know, that was cute. It was, I, was fat, I was obsessed with it. I mean, th these kids do, doing things I don't know about. But anyway, I kept thinking the show is really backstage. Yeah. Yes, but, I mean, that's a reality show. Reality special to pitch. <laughs> <laughs> but Look at all. Oh, Lily. Oh, I mean, one of everyone's number one icons. Uh, tell me just a little something about Lily. Totally uh, present when you speak to her. Her eyes twinkle. She looks in your eye. And uh, her and her partner, uh, well, her partner came to see the show. Right. That I did with Jane, her. Jane, yeah. Jane Wagner. Um, they w took me out for dinner, me and my partner, just oh the my four of us. Oh, my God. What a dream. They said, where do you want to go? I said, Taste of India in Sherman Oaks. Yeah. <laughs> so that's where we went. Taste that's of so India. Good. And we had such a great time. And they bought me a pair of uh, vintage Chanel earrings. Oh, wow. As, as, a, as a present. Do you still have them? Yeah. Oh. I have them in, in my little cocoa shop. Who shelf. are you leaving them to? You. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, no, but... <laughs> like, totally, totally the best kind of person you want to be around. Uh, what like, a dream. not a diva at all. Look at him! Oh, Liza. The raised so much money with Liza, 50,000 bucks. What can you tell us a little bit about her? Listen, Liza came to see my show years ago, has supported me ever since. And one night, you know, early on when I first met her, just said, Call me. And I said, I don't have your number. <laughs> and she turned to her friend and said, Give her my number. And then, like, you know, we would call each other. She would leave me messages. Sometimes my mom would pick up the phone because I was still living at home in the Bronx. And Amazing. my mom would be like, It's Liza and Ellie. <laughs> That's okay. No, she, she, was, she was very real, very honest. And that night we did together, you know, on these sort of interviews, like, you're. You're try That's not who Liza is. She's actually very thoughtful uh -huh. and like thinks about what she wants to mm. say. And I wanted to present to the audience that side of Liza because we get to see like the kind of yeah. chaotic Liza. Showbiz, Showbiz in front, yeah. doing and it. She's actually very um, thoughtful. And, 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 I, and, I, and I love her. And, and, and the night we did our event, she was in a lot of pain with her with her leg and whatnot, right. but she showed up like a trooper and did it. A true Aww. professional. Yes. God bless you, Liza. Yeah. Look at her. Oh my God. Another one. Another I was one. watching this last night. I mean, what a mother! You've had, you have all the divas that everyone's dreamed to, to I meet. I was, I was freaked out about Jane because she didn't want to talk before the show. Oh, uh, you know, to keep it fresh. No, no. Usually we meet meet the person because I want to just let them know, like, this is what I'm going to be asking you, and are you okay with hearing? So we had to do it over the phone, and be, her basic reaction was, uh huh, mm hmm, okay, uh huh. And then she showed up and she was a little bit stiff. And backstage, she looked at me, and I'm thinking, I have 15 minutes to connect with this woman. Yeah. She looked at me and she says, I don't think I'm going to be very funny tonight. I have a hangover. <laughs> and I said, Well, don't tell me, tell them. And then, like, she kind of got like, Oh, I'm going to have fun with you. Right. And we did. We had a great time. It was a great interview. It was a, she was great. great. She told the story about how nine she said to five cock was ring. created. She said cock ring. She said cock ring on stage. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I had bought a pin at Dollywood. Right. You know, and you buy jewelry, and it went bad the next day. You know, it was a piece of junk, but it turned bad the day after I bought it. Okay. <laughs> so I said to her, I said, When you see Dolly, tell her she owes a drag queen $12 because oh. this piece of shit went bad. And she said, That's not a. Pin, that's a cock ring. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, so good, Coco. Look at her. Oh, there they are, two San Francisco treats. <laughs> well, I just worked with Peaches, and she was delightful. Yeah, One we of, had her on the show. Yeah. She was uh, so I mean, amazing. I'm a huge fan of Peaches, and I love Hecklina, too. Yeah. I, I love both of them. Yeah. I work with them all year. Oh, and yeah. look at those faces. Yeah, I mean, I no, love to stand right next to them. Look at those faces. <laughs> 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 they're too. I just love them. Both so creative, and they they're not out to take anyone's show. Their stuff is just so specific mm -hmm. that it's just you know. Again, people I look up to. So. They do their yeah, thing do. and have been doing it. And I just worked with Peaches, and one of the great things about working with her is, you know, I'm such a perfectionist in my own shows. What and did every, you guys do together again? We did Witches of Eastwick. Right, yes. And we're, you know, I have to be so perfect and all the time, and, she, and I was so worried about fucking up, and she just kept saying, Coco, in my shows, we want you to fuck up. <laughs> right. Like, that's, like, uh, yeah. what the audience loves. And that, to me, that was, like, so freeing. Yeah, I bet it yeah, was. Yeah, it was mm, great. Good one. Look at her. Oh, <laughs> look at her. <laughs> oh, I love Willem. I do too. First time I met Willem, I was at a, we did some sort of event together and then it was in the afternoon. We all went out for lunch together. We're sitting on Santa Monica Boulevard in a sidewalk cafe and some 
cute boy walked by and she calls out to this stranger and within a matter of minutes had his dick out to show all of us. <laughs> yes. And I thought, I love Sounds this Sounds about right. <laughs> you know? She's committed. Day, middle of the day, we're there in drag and this guy's got his dick out on the table. I just thought, mm -hmm. this is a queen I need to know. <laughs> She's got powers. Yes. But, but also, I worked with her on a film she did and, and also very, very professional. Uh, now, she got booed off the stage last year. And yeah, you, well, you know, uh, yes. I'm not sure well, what I mean, happened. What was that story? Well, so she... Um, Thank you, Coco, for that. I'm just keeping it. I'm get sure. the fan, get the fan! Oh, yeah, get the fan, boy! <laughs> well, we're being so nice here about everybody, okay. but... So, yeah, you tell me some interesting shit, Sasha! You are, okay, so well, she was supposed to be with a DWV, DMV, what is it? D DWV, DWV, the formerly, the You're previously DMV, known the new as... Group. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I want to see her in the new group, DMV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but she was supposed to, and unfortunately, Detox was unable to make it. So at the last minute, we had to um, kind of just create something. Um, but you think that traveling, you know, as much as you do, you'd have something. But um, I don't think that she was necessarily ready or planned for that. So why did they? Well, why did they boo her? It seems like she tr does have because a lot. Because she she gave up. During, she quit. I think she, she quit, quit in the middle of her set. She just was like, I'm done. Which is what I kind of love about Willow. Uh -huh. you know, she kind of owns, like, this is going over like a lead balloon. So was why she don't doing we just stand up? And it, and it, she was she doing was, like She little, thought she was going to do songs? I think she was doing that little tranny. I don't remember what she Orphan did. Orphan tranny. But or all of little sudden, orphan tranny. <laughs> we're all in the back. We heard the audience booing and, yeah. and they booed her off. But anyway. Oh my Willow, goodness. But, That's shocking it to me. It is shocking. Willem is such like a... Hardcore yeah, performer. Absolutely. Exactly. That's, I'm shocked. Well, you know that, and that's why you invited her back. Yes, because I, I know. I yeah. love, love, love Willem. Yes. I did, um, I did um, sign language for his one of his songs. I don't even remember which one it was. Um, ASL interpreting for him on his thing. They put on YouTube. I love working with him. He's always professional. Yeah. So this is his second chance, which I know he'll bring it this year. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I think it was just because of the. It wasn't working, and it was right. really close to their breakup. Oh, and how much wow. do you love Willem for like getting booed off stage, and being willing to show up again for the you know that audience, yeah, right. fourteen hundred right. people? Because they're all, I mean, but Willem is a huge draw. They're I all love him. She sold T-shirts afterwards. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Good, yeah, make that money, Willem. That's oh, one thing Willem could be sure. Like, she fuck was. It, I'm still gonna sell the T-shirts. Fuck it. Yep. Fuck you guys. I fuck. admire her. If mm. I got booed off stage, I mean, that would destroy. Hey, whoa, whoa. She's gorgeous. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Very strong features and a great performer. I'm sure she'll do great she's this going, year. Yeah. She's going places. Oh, she's right. gone places she's already. Going places. <laughs> that business is very she's popular. Um, drag Queens of Comedy, Castro Theater, May 23rd. The website? D, uh, DQOC.com. All right. Oh. You'll see Coco Brew there. Willem. Uh, who else? Tell me everyone. Alaska, oh, Jackie Alaska. Feet, Lady Bunny, yes. Shangela, Pecalina, Peaches, Peaches and, and Michelle Visage. Oh, yeah. Don't the host. miss it. Thank you guys so much for being here. It was such a delight. Coco, it's an honor Thank to be you. in your presence. Same Sasha, here. we'll see you at Drag Queens of Comedy next year yes. when you book me and Lady Red. Yes, and yes. we'll see all y'all next time on Hey Queen and Look Up. Bye, Queen. Yeah.